Is your all-in-one migration WordPress plugin not working? Here's how to fix it. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehoz.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this helps you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, in this video, I'm talking about the all-in-one migration plugin what to do when it's not working. I'm going to cover two things, two possible scenarios, which are the most common. Now, the all-in-one migration plugin is one of my all-time favorite plugins. I've been using this plugin forever. Okay, uh, and yes, plenty of times it gets stuck during an import, and I'm going to share with you exactly what I do. Okay, so let's look at the first scenario. Okay, so here I am in the dashboard of my test blog, and I'm actually on the dashboard of the all-in-one WP migration plugin. All I've done is on the left hand side, I've gone to all-in-one migration and import. So I'm actually on the import screen. Now, one of the issues that people have is that they're trying to import a backup that is larger than the limit set in the free plugin, the free version of the plugin. All-in-one migration plugin was free for a very long time, but it's been around for a long, long time, and it has earned its stripes. It has, I think, about 3 million users. So the developer has placed a limit on the free plugin and created an extension that unlocks that limit and enables you to upload unlimited size backups. Now, I use the unlimited version. I bought the extension when it came out. It's not expensive. And if you're going to do this more than once or twice, then it's definitely worth the money. Right now, it's $69. I'll show you that anyway. I'll show you where you can see that. But in this video, we're talking about what to do with the free version. OK, so you have two options. You'll notice under the import area that there is a maximum upload notice. It's 300 meg, okay? At least on, on this version that I have, which I've just installed on my test blog, it says 300 meg. Now, if you click this link that you see on the, underneath, how to increase maximum upload file size, this takes you to a resource page on the ServeMask website. ServeMask is the developer of the WP all-in-one migration plugin, okay? And the developer here is showing you four ways in which you can increase the upload file size in WordPress. Now, number one and number two involve messing around with your HT access file and your WP config file. You can either do one or the other. Now, if you are going to do either of these two, then please back up your files. Make sure that you back up in case you screw things up. OK, you want to be able to replace that HT access file or that WP config file should things go wrong. The third one involves contacting your hosting provider. And the fourth one is the one that I want to show you. If you click on this link, this takes you to this page. And this is where you'll see the basic and the premium. The premium is the one that has the $69 lifetime deal. You basically pay $69 one time, and then you just upload that extension every time you upload the all-in-one migration plugin and you can upload unlimited size backups. But what I want you to look at is here is the basic one, okay? If you scroll down, it says the backup size is up to 512 meg. And if you recall, on my blog, it says maximum upload size 300 meg. Now you can use the basic extension for free, okay? And that's gonna enable you to upload files, backups of up to 512 meg. So that's an extra 200 plus meg on the normal plugin. OK, so that's quite kind of the developer. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download the basic extension and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. OK, and you can see that this is the extension. Let's click activate plugin. And let's go back to all in one migration. Let's go to the import screen. And you'll see now that we have a maximum upload file of 512 meg. So this fixes the first issue. This fixes WP migration 
not working because the file you're trying to import is too big and hopefully your file is under 500 meg if this is the issue you're having and this fixes that okay now the second issue is that wp migration plugin gets stuck sometimes when you're importing a file it just gets stuck on a certain percentage sometimes it gets stuck on a hundred percent now i can't replicate that error i could spend all day here importing files and not hit that issue but i have hit that issue more than a dozen times and this is what i do if you're importing a website then hopefully it's not a live website okay or it's not live yet don't worry about it if it's stuck just refresh the page and start again sometimes the plugin gets stuck on a certain percentage and you'll click on cancel but it still doesn't do anything okay now why it gets stuck depends on many things it could even be if you're using shared hosting that you're actually maxing out the resources on your server it might have nothing to do with the plugin okay so don't freak out if this happens but as i say it could be a server timeout it could be any other kind of timeout if the plugin is stuck then just refresh the page and start again nothing bad is going to happen that's what i do it works every single time okay i hope these two tips help you while you're here by the way make sure you subscribe and that way you stay up to date with all these tips but in the meantime take it easy and i shall see you in the next video